this is more productive. I like this. Gonna have a lot of people. All right. Let me push the cuticle back a little more the way I wanted it. Hi guys, come on, come back. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to um, build the bridge. When customer have short nail like her nail right here, my customer right here. Come on, I can get this straight. That's us right here, okay. You guys see it clearly? All right. Um, you see how her nail really short? But she's getting this white tip. So if we do the white tip, it's already white. And we put on customer who have, hand again, um, nail bed short like her. If we put the white tip on like this, pretty much she have no nail bed left. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. When my customer come in here, if she, they want a white tip like this. And uh, check this out. I'm about to do it now. Let me push the cuticle back a little bit more. Then I'm going to show you. So if you know how customer has short nail bed like these guys. And uh, you want to put tip white tip on. They either kick up. Because the meat higher than the nail bed is going to kick up. And... Um, and you just glue directly to her nail, it's gonna be, the nail bed gonna be very little, small, and gonna look weird. We wanna make them where she look like she had long nail bed, make it look good. Hi, Megan. Welcome back, everyone. Um, just to let you guys know that I have a YouTube channel now with Go By Trend Solo. So, you guys, please go and subscribe my channel. Show me your sport and show me your love. All right. You guys know I always put liquid on before I glue the tip. To make it dry fast, actually, that's what it meant. All right. So, to build the bridge, this is what I do. I glue this nail on first. To make her nail bed a little longer. You guys see it? The meat higher and it go up like this. So send her net, her meat higher. This is what I do. Pretty much you glue toward the meat. It don't have to be exactly on the nail. It's on. It can be on the skin. Because the nail stay or not, it's not just because the way you glue. The nail stay on longer or not is about how you apply the acrylic. All right, press it down. After she cup a wash, she push it. They come and loose underneath. The glue gonna loose away. Pull the skin of her finger. Uh, can you come and pull her skin off her finger for me? I can't do it. She say pull the skin off her finger. <laughs> That's why I say can you come and do it for me? I can't do it. <laughs> you guys know I've been nice because I'm going to save this video. <laughs> I know who laughed. Raise your hand. Let me see. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited about the YouTube channel. Yes, Megan. Thank you. Thank you. I got so many friends who, why do you glue on the skin? 
okay, the reason why I glue on more on skin than the nail, because if I glue on the nail, the nail going to be kicked up like this. You see it? Because the meat higher. The meat is way higher than the nail. So when you glue on the skin, it kind of press it down to make her nail either straight or going down. Yep. Why no prep of the nail in the cuticle? Why no prep? See, just explain why. Okay. Why no prep? Oh, I didn't prep. I didn't grind her nail. I didn't push her cuticle. All right. Now, we're going to cut this short. Why you doing that? You see that? I jump. You serious? <laughs> I swear, that scared me in a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, see how this is how I build the bridge. And like I said, to glue on the skin. But when you push it down, after she had nail on, you can push it, it's it coming loose. So it's not like it block her skin or nothing like that. Because the way I glue, it's not a lot. So it just, like I said, her nail lasts a lot. It's not just because the way you glue the nail, okay? And I've been doing like this for the last 28 years. And it lasts. And it looks better. Like I said, if we put the tip on, I'll put the bridge. The nail bed gonna be this this much because we have the glue on the nail. So now she had the bridge. Now I can glue right here. You see how your nail bed long now? Mm -hmm. So that's how much I make the nail bed for her. But without the tip, without the bridge I make here, it's gonna be a little bit left for nail bed. You see? That's make sense. So now she have some nail underneath. I can because I don't want to glue this white tip directly to her meat. The reason why? Because it kind of curve and it pinch in her meat with that white tip. So I want something hardened right here so I can glue out here to make it like a nail bed. Now she got longer nail bed. Y'all see it? So without the bed, the new t the tip here is going to be this much a nail bed. Thank you, Leticia. Uh, at least somebody understand. <clears throat> All right. So after I glue the nail, guys, look. I'm going to poke this on YouTube now. The other two I didn't because I delete the other two because I don't want those to be on there. But this here is going to be a more productive video for you guys. So after I glue the nail already, the reason why I glue on the skin because I want to press her skin down to make it straight down. When we glue the white tip on, they will not sit up, okay? So that's why we glue on the skin. I barely touch the nail bed. So after that, you kind of smooth it down a little bit. If they have a little gap, if don't, you don't have to, but I like to clean them a little bit. And you glue the nail on after that, because once you glue the white tip on, you can't grind no more because you want a fine line to leave there, okay? I'm going to try it up myself. Actually, I never heard of that. Yes, it's, you know, like I told my customer here, it costs me more because we're doing double tip. It costs a little extra time. It's no extra cost for her. You know, but it make her nail look good, and we're going to do what our best to make our customer hand look good. That's it. So it's a little extra time to work with, but, you know, it's going to make her nail look a million dollars. So after you make the bridge, and all you do is you come back and just smooth the line down. Because like I said, once you glue the white tip on, you can't go back and grind the line because you want that fine line to be on. All right, now, see how I cut? I cut towards just like her meat stop. Where her meat stop, that's where I cut, so pay attention to that. You don't want that to be too long, and you just want to know. And you want you, you know what you're doing, and you want how long her nail bed going to be, then you cut the tip at that length, okay? What drill I use? Um, the one that foot pedal on, foot control. All right, now I'm about to glue the tip, the white tip. Because, I mean, if we, I can glue the white tip by itself on it. But, like I said, the white going to grab and pinch into her meat. And it make a kind of little weird curve looking. Because I test everything before I come up with these. 
So now we can glue it on and however you want to make her nail bed look long. Y'all see that? You like that? Mm -hmm. Yep, see now she got a little long nail bed now. You're gonna be a little extra time, but guess what? It's, it's well worth it. And whenever I finish her nail, I will have the clear paint right here so it kind of removes some of those, the gap mm -hmm. between the tip. So that'll make it look perfect right there. What brand? Um, I have three different brands here. Uh, one is called Milken. The other brand is Pro 2 and one is Demo. You see that? You see how her nail bed long now? Instead of, see, that's why I, when people, I like people to look at it thoroughly first before saying something is not right. And I don't want to curse on my video now. So in case, if, I mean, instead of put the bed, you don't put the bed, you put the nail. You see how much her nail bed left? Just a little bit, but now she had it all the way up here. Yep. So you, you guys see what's the purpose now, right? It's going to be extra time. It's going to be nice. It's no extra charge. I just want it to look good. You see it? And you see how they straight out and that mm -hmm. kick up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, if we glue directly to her nail bed with the white tip, one thing is stick up. Second thing is the nail bed. Did she have no nail bed left? And the way I do it like this is to make her nail last longer too because it's more room, more nail beds so for acrylic to stay on. You can read it though. Help me read it even when they come out. Wonder which one I don't read. A lot of them I didn't get to read because when I looked down and glue, I didn't get to read. But I will come back later. So you guys see how why I do that? It it's, it helped the customer nail bed look pretty. That's so considerate of you. Your client must really appreciate. It. Yes, my customer love the way I do like this. I help a lot of people with nail bed like this. Because I have to come up with some kind of way to make their nail bed look good, you know? It's not all about the money. It's all about a customer happy and they come out, they walk out with a pretty nail bed. Pretty nail and worry about a little short nail bed. Nope. All right. Now we're going to cut. How short you want, baby? Right there. Right here? Yeah. I'm not cut with my other tool because I want, because to cut with the other tool, it looks like I make the nail bed wider. Um, for this tip, I just cut with the clipper. Because the form of the tip, when you cut two different, they come in out two different shapes. Mm -hmm. All right, let me measure. For white tip, I always make sure I measure because make sure the white tip the same length. Because if the white tip is not the same, it looks tacky. It look crazy. Okay, I will shape up a little bit to make it a little more narrow before I put a quillet on. Customer buy that nail like this guy, you have to give him a tender loving care. <laughs> Hold on. Normally when I put white tip, I don't shape up 
but the way we build the bridge like this, I have to shape it up, make sure it's small enough to make it look good because you don't know it'll be too wide, they look bold. So just shape up a little bit, make her finger look long, her little nail bed look long. I think she really, she, I think she already loved them. <laughs> you love them? <laughs> yeah, I explained, I actually explained to her before I explained to you guys up here. And she liked it. All right, now see, now we are ready to put a quillet and we don't want to grind these, okay? Because we already grind this gap. We do not grind the white because we want the fine line to sit on there to make it look sharp. And for you guys already know, I don't like to cut custom a cuticle because the more you cut, the worse it get. So what I use is I use that uh, sending band. That's to push the cuticle back. And when we finish, we buff and we oil them and just recondition, recondition her nail. And that's all we need. Because the more you cut, the more problems she had like these. That's why I never cut my custom cuticle. Because that's why most of my customers get to go like a whole month before they come back. Because you know how you cut too much cuticle in two weeks you don't come back in time it look terrible mm -hmm. so i don't do that to my customer because i know a lot of people complain why i don't do the cuticle no it's not about the money but it's about my customer skin and i want them to come back they still look good because you know how people cut too much mm -hmm. they start have a lot of hangnail like these you see it yes, all right yeah. don't cut them i don't All right, now I'm going to put bonnet. I do bonnet and primer both. Got a hand, baby. Turn your hand this way. How do you turn from lifting? See how you guys see straight this way. You see it? It's not kick up. If, I'm, if I don't use the bridge, it's going to stick up this way. So you see how that's straight? That's how I want it like that. How to prevent from... Uh, Great tip. Thank you for your set. Always oh, look great. Thank you. Thank you, hon. How to prevent from uh, from lifting. You see the step I do? Prep. That's one of the main key. And when you apply a quillet, do not apply over the cuticle. And when you clean it up, you clean it well. Because you don't clean them well. When they have a gap, it grow out, it will lift too. But clean and prep. That's a main key. Hey guys, okay. what y'all need? Uh, green field and a couple of bowls. Go what, yeah, When I pick up the acrylic and they look like they run it's so wet, I just let it sit in a brush for like a couple of seconds. Let it settle. Y'all go wash your hand first for me, please. Oh, okay. Before I apply on the tip so it won't run everywhere. What she say? I wonder what? I wonder if I can use the white tip to do ombre. No. Because ombre, that means you want to erase the white line. It ain't no acrylic can erase that white line. The hard white line. Somebody saying, I missed how you built the bridge. Will it be available later today? Yes. I poked this on YouTube, guy, and now I have the YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Trin Solo. So will you guys please go and, and subscribe me so I can, you know, I post this video going to be on YouTube. The other two video I didn't. I didn't save those. You guys see how her nail bed look now? It's, it's long.
Oh my God, Natasha, how you been, honey? That's been a long time. You disappear. Look how good her nail look now. So when we finish, we're gonna have the clear pink right here. Okay, why don't you guys sit right there? Okay, under here, baby. Which one get a new set? A bulk refill? No, bulk refill. Bulk refill, okay. How did you make it look? How did you make it look longer? I'm late. Okay, Jesse. Uh, you make me feel so much better because I said I didn't want to cut my customer cuticle because of what the same. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, that's the reason why a lot of people that watch my video and always criticize about how I don't cut the cuticle, but they don't understand that the more you cut the cuticle, the worse it get and you end up going to mess, you know, their skin up. Even doing a pedicure. I don't like to, re you know, remove a lot of skin because Exactly. Uh, hold on. Hold on, Jesse. I'm going to get you in a little bit. Hold on. Um, the reason why... Hold out. Huh? Hold out. All right. Be bleach, huh? Uh-huh. What can... What can be done they don't turn yellow? My, what you say, baby? I had like this before, but it's all no. Uh, okay, the reason why it turned yellow, Maya, two different things. Let me get the charger because the phone is dying. Two different things that will make the nail, the tip, yellow. One is the acrylic they use. Because they do have the kind of acrylic that will make customer nail turn yellow two is the top coat three the one this is the one to make yellow customer smoke if customer smoke it will turn yellow i'm still learning a lot yeah yeah but the top coat with the main part that make the customer nail turning yellow uh we don't have that problem here the only time they turn in yellow, not yellow, not turning, because I'm using clear acrylic. So once the nail grow out complete, and they follow the color of the customer nail bed. But other than that, they don't turn yellow. I don't have that problem here. So, you know, top coat will be the one. The, the first thing is acrylic. Certain acrylic will turn yellow. The face mask? Yes. The shield over? Bang you. You want two or you want one? I guess two are uh, the same colors. Uh... Yes. If you get one, it's six. But you buy both, it's ten. Uh, where are you? He's going to show you a minute. Oh, okay. What your YouTube? Trend Solo. I haven't posted anything up there yet, hon. I will after this. This is going to be our first video I post. One, two, right? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, Show me how to do it. Okay. My, my son trying to show me last night, but it was so late. Yeah. So late, and I was like, uh uh, I'm going to sleep. Okay. I still have a lot to learn how to do that. And I'm not good with computer. I'm not good with none of these. All this new technology, I'm, I'm not good at it. So I still have a lot of help, you know? Learn a lot.
You see how your nail bit now? Yep. Like I told you guys to do these, it take a little extra couple minutes, but it's well worth it. I'm telling you, it make your customer nail bed. You're going to make somebody happy if you do the way I do like this. Special customer that bite their nails so short. And the way I do like these is actually make the nail last longer too. See, I love the way it looks. We normally help our older customer <laughs> to hook it up. A lot of customers don't know when they brought it. They they they, they brought it home and they uh don't they don't know how to, to hook it up. I, I wouldn't have known. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Over your glasses. You can wear yes, you can wear it with your glasses. Okay. Oh, Will oh, the nail oh, go yes. upward? Once the bridge, um, will the nail go upward or downward? That's depend on her nail bed. So I don't know when her nail bed. If her nail bed grow up, it will grow up because it follow the. See, right now we just help them to the nail to grow to grow out. But most customer when the nail they bite the nail, and when we do this, when the nail grow out, they are going down normal. Because right now they bite out too short, and that's why the meat sitting higher. But you know. That word or upward, that's depend on my customer nail bed, how they grow. Because, see, that's, we can't control that once her nail grow out. You ever let your nail bed grow out long? Mm -hmm. it, it's straight? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be just... Because, I mean, pretty much you can see it right there. It's just going straight because that's how where your nail bed at. It's just only you bite so short. That's why the meat's sitting up high. Mm -hmm. But that's what I want to look like that, straight. All right, we can skip the thumb a little bit. It's still wet a little bit. What is it right there? What your YouTube? Trend Solo, Chloe. So, the she does still... Yeah. How do you know when to stop filing? Um, let me see how I explain that. Because you don't want the nail too thick or you don't want the nail too thin. That's why I say you always use your own judgment and you adjust the the equipment the way you want it, the way you think it's look good, the way you think it's, it's going to last. And also, you know, you do some customer light and thin, some customer light and thick. It just depends. But the way I do, I don't do them thick or I don't do them thin. Customer want them super thin or want them super thick, they have to have a special, uh, you know, require. Because even though you guys don't see me in person, but when I grind, I do pick it up, I look like this, and I look on the side. That's how I do to see is the nail even or one side higher or low or whatever. That's how I do because I look around the tip. Because you guys don't see me in person, that's why it's hard to explain. But that's how I do. But I've been doing this for so many, you know, years, and I just know when to stop and just you know from experience that's it because you know you apply them too thin you know they're gonna break
what grid this that what 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 grid is that bit? Uh, medium coarse. I need to get me a new glass. I can't even read none. From here with the sign right there, I can't read nothing. That's how bad my eye is. Because when I wear, I got headache. And I hate it. All right, for a white tip, I just clean them up on the side like this, but I'm not turning over because I don't want to white, you know, remove my white. All right. Because normally I turn them over. Just grind them under with some of the, you know, extra acrylic get underneath, but white tip, normally when you apply it, you gotta be careful. What side brush do I use? 16. I've been using a lot of 16. Full set. That's another one that has nice of like yours. Go wash your hand first, baby. No. 12 too small, hon. That's gonna be more work for you. If you use the smaller shoes you use, the more work you're gonna do. Not a three minutes. Okay. I want that bit. I sell it here, honey. Oh, but she in Mexico. We over there. <laughs> what kind you getting today, you? They don't allow you way long no more. Thank you, bro. Cái trắng đó hả? Hình như trong kia mình có một cuộn á. Bán mấy em chạy em đi mua. Còn phải đi gửi hàng hả? Chuyện nhỏ. Sai máy hiểu gì? Sao mấy hiểu gì mua đền liền? Hử? Ừ? Sao mấy hiểu gì mua đền liền? You can order online bro. So when I finish all the skin that I grind around the cuticle, see when I buff like this, the one that need to come off, they come off. The one that they don't want, you know, they can't come off, it stays. Only the dead skin gone.
Yep, medium coarse. Ready for the clear. Okay, hold on. This is the clear pin. I do the clear pin just in a nail bed. You like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The way I make it double your bed, huh? You're twice bigger. Put that. Perfect for French. Yes. I I will do the YouTube to see what the best light too. For uh, LED uh, UV light. How do you build up your speed? I've been to two hour max for the longest. Two hour for a set, honey? That's a long time. Watch all my videos and you see what I'm talking about. Skip some of those stuff. It's not necessary to use on customer, okay? Um, when you... You see how I glue tip? I don't sit there and try to fit them before we glue them down. You got to learn to remember your number. And you look at the nail, you know automatic. You know what number it could it could be. And that's how you pick it up. I mean, also, when you apply a quillet, you got to do nice and nice. And that's what reduces a lot of time because you do a quillet. You put too much over the cuticle or both sides, or you do too thick. You're going to sit there, take more time, grind them down, take more time to file them. So everything you got to do, you do, you got to, you know, do it neatly. I always do two coke of top coke, or I can, sometimes I do one base on one top, but I have a lot of top here, so I, it's okay to do with two top. It don't do none that you keep the customer uh, nails shine and last longer. So you got always see me with two top. All right, switch it out. It go off kind of fast. Take it out, baby. Let me reset it. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm about to put some oil on this here, guys. And I'm going to show you. Yep, let me see. Now I need to fix that one. You don't go almost over to it. That's me. I was going to cut my wheel back and see if you can do it. I was doing my nail on there while watching. <laughs> I hope you don't cut your skin. All right, take it out, baby. Put that back in. All right, I'm going to put some oil on. I'm going to show you guys. You see that? That's the reason why we stopped so much cutting in there. Take it out, baby. Yeah, it's, 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 I thought it's like the old one. I squeezed and it just coming out. Hold on, let me get the towel. All over, I'm gonna spray in a little bit. Whew. About to give her a shower with oil, Bob. <laughs> Look, it's good for your skin anyway, vitamin E oil. 
uh, that's how her nail look like. Okay, you go wash your hand first, babe, and come back, and I want to show them real quick. We'll see. Hold on. She wash her hand, and I'm going to show you guys. You like it, honey? <laughs> Open it up. See, that's how her nail look. Oh, still have a little water. See? It's not thick. You see it? Put it on the side. It's not even kick up. You guys see it? Still have some little water bubble on top of the nail bed. But that's how her nail look, guys. Uh, that's it, Maya. I love you, baby. Thank you for your help. You are my right hand. Any of you guys comment, and I couldn't even, you know, I didn't get your uh, comment, your your question fast. Maya gonna be the one help me out. So that's how her nail look, and you guys see how her nail bed is all the way here now. It's not all the way back there like the original. My hand look on the side, but that's how they look. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, just to let you guys know, I have my YouTube channel now, Trend Solo. So please subscribe and um, support me, show me your love. And I love y'all. Please like and share my video and watch these videos on YouTube. See you guys in a little bit. Thank you. Bye, Maya. Bye, everyone. Bye, Natasha. See you later, baby. Bye, Maya.